here with Candy Panda, who had an amazing game on Ezreal. And, um, well, I saw Ocelot this morning, and he said, well, you know, I feel that this is the day we're going to take him down. Is it because of the victory against Alternate that you were that confident, or...? Uh, well, we just kind of played our game. I mean, we won with Alternate, which was very good, but we just saw it as another game, so we just played it like that, and it worked out. You uh, especially had a really good game, and you didn't choose to go for the blue Ezreal build. Why is that in this case? So I really like Israel, but I found with the blue build you just you just kind of stand there and kite them, but I wanted to go in and kill them. So I tried around a bit with the builds, and I found that uh, Bloodthirster to try force is the most damage, where you can go in and uh, you can just kill them instead of kite them. Yeah, and that's what you did. Normally you had games where you had advantages against Fnatic before, and then in the mid-game it kind of slipped away. How did you prevent that from happening this time around? Okay, so after we came back from Moscow, we noticed that we really lack in closing our games, in the mid-game especially. So we really tried this week to just train the mid-game, train how to close out games, what to do in the mid-game, and uh, we just did that. All right, just generally the atmosphere in the team seems to be at a real high. Are you going to be able to keep this up? Because that's usually the problem for SK Gaming. I think we all learned now that we just have to keep performing. We can't just take a break after a good performance. So we will keep practicing, keep practicing, especially next week. I think like we got better, but we, we aren't yet where we want to be. So next week we will train even harder and then hopefully we will stay at the top. Great to hear that. Thank you very much, Candy Panda.